We sounds like we're live. It's almost hang on, give it a second. It isn't giving me the like the red. I see the red. I think okay. Good. If you see it, then you're good. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. All right, everybody. The date is January 4th, 2022. It's our first new meeting um of the year for Clock Custodian. Welcome everyone back from break. Um, a lot of people are, some people are still on holiday. Like people are just coming back and things like that. Um, and this meeting is pretty much happened immediately after we got back. So we will be doing a short meeting today, kind of just go going over uh, a handful of things and then we'll give everyone some time back. Um, as usual, uh, these meetings follow the CNCF code of conduct. So please be excellent to each other. And I'll be posting the notes and videos to the usual places, the cloud custodian Google group and in the github.com slash cloud dash custodian slash community repo in the discussions there, you will find the long tail of all of our meeting archives. So let me scroll down here. The handle is the welcome back. Anyone want to introduce themselves? Say hi. I think uh, I think everyone's been to one of these meetings. All right. So if you're listening to us out there on YouTube, hello. I have a quick CNCF status that I would like to do is, uh, so before break, we applied for um, incubation status with the CNCF and that's moving from sandbox to incubation. And then the last step is graduation, which we're not, uh, doing that yet. We're trying to get from sandboxing to incubation. Uh, there's a list of all the applicants. I left a list there in the notes. There's a bunch of other projects that are also applying for incubation. Uh, just to give you a quick list of here they are. And they are, we, uh, the CNCF meeting is on the 11th. Uh, that's going to start uh, going through this list and working their way through it. So I'll be participating in those meetings um, with the CNCF. And if you go to the talk uh, link there, you can find out when they meet and, and all that kind of good stuff. So all those meetings are public and whatnot, and all those projects are open source. So if you're interested in what's going into incubation, that is the meeting to go to this month. Um, so I will be there. Um, and we'll have more uh, more to follow there as far as the process of us uh, graduating to that. And then I left a link here also from last year uh, as we closed up. We did an annual report uh, of how Cloud Custodian and the community are doing. And this is a good summary if you haven't kept up with what's happening in Cloud Custodian. Uh, we've got a bunch of developer statistics and things like that and how people are using it. And it's kind of a uh, what we did last year summary. Um, so any questions on that one before we move on? All right. And that's pretty much uh, the agenda there. Uh, if, if Unless anybody has any else, anything else uh, they want to talk about, we'll go ahead and go to the issues and PRs. I found that my uh, status update script broke over the week, over the break. So I need to figure that out. So uh, AJ, you've got two here that you've added. We'll go ahead and just go over these here real quick and then break. So this one here? Sure. Yeah, so th this one is from a uh, from a, a feature that AWS added during reInvent. I mean, they already had bucket ownership controls, but the most recent addition was the, uh, the bucket owner enforced, which allows you to disable ACLs for a bucket and just kind of simplify permissions in general. So I imagine, I, I haven't seen any questions come in about it, but eventually folks are gonna ask because it does make uh, it does make controlling permissions on buckets a lot nicer. So um, I guess anytime we're gonna add filters and actions, we usually recommend that folks do a filter first, work through any issues that come up there and then move to the actions. So I'm just trying to do that here. So one PR, we'll just do it a bit at a time. Got you. And just so I'm clear, the use case here is that you would just have the ACLs management done in your policies and not directly via the bucket. Yeah, what, what happens here is that you that all the access comes through the bucket policy, so it'll ignore any object level ACLs that you already have set. If you have okay. bucket level ACL set and you try to enable this, it'll yell at you. It'll say okay. like, "Hey, you've uh, you've got ACLs. You, you've got to get rid of those first. So there will be some considerations when it comes to implementing the action, how much we want to allow forcing that or something. Gotcha. Um, all right, looking good then. And then the next one is, I think this is the actual PR of the issue. Yeah, the, this is yeah. just the just the filter piece. So this will be so anytime we're going to do actions, part of that is going to be filtering to see like if somebody wants to say my org uh, disables ACLs for buckets just to to help simplify simplify permissions. The first gotcha. thing they're going to want is a filter to say 
where don't we have that in place? <laughs> gotcha. So this is this is that piece. Okay. So you have the chicken of the egg, that one. Yeah. <laughs> or the egg, that one. Yeah. I said chicken of the egg. Um, okay. And then the last one you have is an Azure uh, C7M mailer issue. Yes. And this was something that came in through Gitter. Mike there, shout out to Mike J. Gray, because he uh, right. yeah, so he, morning, he raised right? a question yeah. in Gitter. We chatted uh, also to Kirill, uh, who's not on this call, but he he jumped in for some of uh, some of Mike's other uh, questions about Azure. Excellent. Uh, but he was having an issue with the mailer. And uh, we talked through a little bit of a, a little early troubleshooting, and then he just ran with it <laughs> and mm -hmm. um, and fixed uh, fixed the issue on his end. And looks like he just wanted to get the issue documented, and looks like he's going to be working on a on a PR also, so that uh, to kind of take whatever manual changes he needed to make, and uh, and get them upstream for everybody. Uh, oh, just shout out to him. Missed this discussion from earlier. Okay. Awesome. Well, thanks, Mike, for that one. Yeah, I wasn't aware that this uh, Gitter. I, I get so confused because I saw you talking about it this morning, but didn't know there was previous uh, discussion in this whole thread. Because this is from, yeah, this is from like December. This conversation started December thirtieth. I was just confused about that. Okay, cool, dope. Yeah, so that's uh, that's it. For thanks me. for that, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing open source in action here. Okay, and that's basically it. Does anybody else have uh, anything uh, to discuss here? Because we'll be meeting in two weeks, and that'll give us plenty of time to uh, have things land and other things. So if no one has anything, going once, going twice. Awesome. We'll see everyone in two weeks. Thank you very much. Bye, everybody. Cheers. Thanks, Al.